During processing, sea cucumbers are cut open and gutted, salted and cooked in several drying or smoking stages until they become dry and as hard as a rock. They shrink a great deal and can lose up to 90% of their weight. Holothuria, Whitmai and Fusco Gilva are the only ones cut open on their backs. Other species are cut open on their undersides. If you see a dorsal incision, bingo, that is probably a Whitmai or Fusco Gilva. Finally, the teeth often remain visible even when the specimen is dry. A glance at the color will allow you to distinguish Whitmai and Fusco Gilva. Fusco Gilva has a light colored underside unlike the Whitmai, Holothuria scabra and Lassoni. These are the only ones that have to be cleaned of their chalky covering in order to be marketed. Once that layer has been removed, they become translucent. Our tip, use a torch or flashlight to check. With Lassoni and Scabra, the light will shine through. Here, with Actinopyga palawasis, for example, the beach demur stays opaque. To tell them apart, Lassoni has an almost smooth body, whereas Scabra is markedly wrinkled. Scabra is also generally smaller than Lassoni. And the others? No worries. Here are a few tips to recognize other quite characteristic sea cucumbers. Bohatia argus usually keeps its leopard-like spots even when it has been dried out. Also, it is the only one with an anus pointed skywards. Thelenota ananas, which has many large papillae when it's alive, remains covered with prickles when dried out. Holothuria fuscopuntata has deep grooves on its back, rather like an elephant's trunk. It is much bigger and lighter colored than Scabra. Easy. Stichopus hermani is also slightly wrinkled on his back, but with small black lumps. It is light in color with a rectangular cross section. Ectinopyga variance is wrinkled, oval in shape, and has a granular underside of a much lighter brown color than the rest of its body. Stichopus chloronotus is always small, with a square cross-section and rows of spikes at each corner. Thelenota annex is usually very large, with a rectangular cross-section and irregular warts on its back. The three black Actinopyga are not easy to tell apart. Let's say that. Miliaris is shaped like a rugby ball. Palauasis has a syndical shape and a slightly wrinkled texture, whereas Spinea has a syndical shape and an almost smooth texture. It is also thinner than Palauasis. And here is a summary for you. Ready to identify them?
Find out more information on the Pacific Community website, especially the Sea Cucumber Identification Cards.